But first, our top story at 530, wine country under attack. The drought, heat, and fire risk threatening the grape harvest. How growers are getting creative and defending their crop. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Reed Cowan in for Ryan Yamamoto. All right, so climate change is threatening California's world famous wines. But vintners, growers, and researchers are fighting back with technology. A severe drought, rising temperatures, and major fires all threaten to disrupt a California treasure. I'm in the heart of wine country. Behind me, these vines make some of the best cab in the world. But those in the industry are worried that our changing climate is going to impact their future. We're way past deciding whether or not it's real or not. We, we can see it. How has climate change impacted your crop? Oh, dramatically. Andy Beckstoffer of Napa is the largest grape grower in Northern California. Um, we've never seen drought like this. We've never seen warm years and early harvests like this. Steve Mathiason is a celebrated winemaker. And they all turn. Both see they the dangers turn, yeah. of climate change and, and, like many in the valley, are determined to fight back. Fighting fire, worrying about fire, what are we going to do about it? We need to be smart as farmers and we need to prepare for it. At their disposal, some innovative strategies tested on this 40-acre vineyard run by UC Davis. We are forward thinkers. The researchers and the industry are working together and we're thinking of ways to control the environment as much as we can. Teams are studying various rootstocks to see which ones are the most drought and heat resistant. Rows of vines are planted in a different direction to avoid direct sun. And layers of leaves, as well as artificial shades, canopy the fruit in an attempt to keep the clusters cooler. What it also provides is, uh, you know, it uh, lessens the uh, amount of water being evaporated from the uh, soil and the uh, vineyard. Another challenge, wildfires. Burning wood creates tiny compounds that can seep into grapes. If I have a drought condition, I'll lose a part of my harvest. With the, with the smoke, I can lose the whole damn thing. If there's a wildfire or fresh smoke that still contains a lot of these compounds close to a vineyard, grapes are like little sponges, unfortunately, and they do absorb things from the atmosphere. These compounds, and not the smoke, can taint the wine. Think of um, if you can imagine licking an ashtray. Researchers are working on sensors to detect these compounds on vineyards. They're also working on ways to filter them out of tainted grapes. Flavor development. Andy and Steve are ready to ends. adapt. We know that we need to implement technology to adapt. So that we can continue to have a healthy business and make world-class wines 25 years from now. Now, this story is part of a special we've been working on with CBS News stations across California. It's called Parched, California's Climate Crisis. Tomorrow at 7, find out why this drought is unlike the others and who is getting hit the hardest and how you can prepare.